Hey guys, welcome back to my brand new video. In my last video, I showed you how you can download and play PUBG Mobile using Tencent Emulator. So now, in this new video, I'm gonna show you how you can play Tencent Emulator PUBG Mobile without lags, shutterings, and FPS drops. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> So the first step comes here to uh, just click on it and click to settings. Now go to engine. If you're having a good GPU, I suggest you to go to DirectX Plus and make sure to tick this option. Prioritized dedicated GPU. And anti-lasing must be close. Memory must be uh, max. Memory must be to max. Processor, it is about cores. So I'm having i3 fifth generation which is a dual core processor so I have to click on two cores resolution depends upon your PC power and your monitor display if you're having a some time if you're having a low GPU like a very low or somehow medium so I suggest you to go to DirectX and now save it now you have to restart the emulator if you want the changes to be applied Right now, our next step comes is to clear the cache files. So for this, just press Windows key plus R and type percentage temp percentage and delete everything here and the files which are not deleting up. So just skip them all. The next step is to uh, open MS config. Let's go to boot, advanced options and take this option and select the number of processors you have. I am having 4 threads. So the next step come here to uh, open services.msc. When it opens just uh, uh, go to super fetch and make sure to stop and disable it. Now if you are having uh, NVIDIA GPU then go to NVIDIA settings by right click on desktop and NVIDIA control panel. Set uh, your physics processor to your NVIDIA GPU. Now go to manage 3D settings. After going to program settings just uh, click on add and search for Tencent Gaming Buddy and click on high performance NVIDIA processor and copy the settings like me. Threader optimization must be on. If you are using a SSD, then I suggest you to uh, make the shader cache to on. But if you are using a hard drive that is HDD, then I suggest you to make it off. Power management mode must be maximum. And the OpenGL render must be your graphic card and maximum pre-render frames are 1. So now if you are using an Intel GPU, then right click on uh, desktop and go to graphic properties. And then go to 3D. Uh, make sure to uh, update the drivers of Intel graphic card 2. Uh, enable optimal mode must be uh, enabled and uh, multi super sampling must be used in application settings but make sure not to use this setting. I mean not to use this setting in your game or it will make very high frame drops. It must be off and uh, general settings must be performance. I'm using balance mode because I have Nvidia GPU for my gaming but if you are only having the uh, Intel GPU then I suggest you to go to performance now go to power and plug-in must be maximum performance on battery must be maximum performance and disable these options defragmenting your hard drives will also make it better for your game to uh, run smoother to defragment your hard drive click on any uh, this and go to its properties go to optimize and optimize every drive one by one. It will make your uh, PC to run better, booting up faster and uh, it will give you less frame drops in every game even in Tencent emulator. Make sure to update your drivers up to time to time and uh, if you are having any problem that where I have to, I have to download from and if you are having any problem that from which side I have to download the drivers I will give the link in the description. This link is for AMD, this is for Nvidia and this for Intel. And that's it guys. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on it and share it to your friends. And if you are having I mean and if you are having only 30 FPS on the Tencent emulator and you can't enable any type of uh, high 
like uh, actually settings so stay tuned to my channel i will upload a video for it all right now bye bye <laughs>